Let's be having a few, mate. Woohoo! Let's get on them. Get on them. Are you having that side? Uh, can do. Right then, mate, I've got you a little treat. Oh, mate. I know. Happy days. What a guy I am. That's how you start a session. Yeah. Um, I got you one. No. How about that? Oh, mate. Well. Did you shake this one up? Yeah. Cool. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Mmm. I guess, let's have this and get some rods out. Yeah, or we could just have a few more. So we have a few of these. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Works for the bloke in the car park. Yeah. Mmm. Cheers. Magic. Here's to a fish. Or a good session. Right then, well, we are back out on the bank. Welcome to another vlog. You join us up on the monster pit in the Cotswolds. It is an epic slab of water, isn't it, mate? It really is. It's a mega bit of water, and I actually fished it a few months ago. Unfortunately, I blanked, but it gave me the buzz to come back, and that buzz was uh, certainly passed across to you, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I enjoyed watching that video, mate, and uh, yeah, I got the buzz as well. But we have got some epic wet weather coming in shortly, mm. and uh, yeah, we really need to get the rods sorted, get the houses up, and uh, stick some bait on their heads. So we've seen a few shade out in front of us, so it is looking good. Uh, but yeah, we need to get the rods sorted, mate. So let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. So we've been leading around then for probably a couple of hours at least. Um, I found an absolute mega, mega spot, uh, 32 wraps, but unfortunately it's just too far. With the side wind we've got, um, it's not too bad at the moment, but as soon as we get a bit of weather come through, it picks up, gets really blustery, and it's just putting a massive blow in the mono. So I'm not able to fish out of that distance accurately. So I've come back shorter, I haven't wrapped it yet, but I have found a nice area. It's not really a spot, it's just an area. You've basically got a, just out to the side of that boy out there on the horizon, there's a tree. And then further over, you've got three trees. And there's like a flat bit of bank between it. And basically out between that sort of area, it feels quite nice. I've actually been using the grappling lead and pulling it back through the area just to see if there's any weed about and I'm not really picking up much weed. The odd bit of strand comes in now and then, but otherwise it's pretty much coming in like that, nice and clean. So it just feels like a nice flat, smooth, uh, smooth sort of silty bottom. It seems to be plugging in. So when you first sort of cast it out and you get a drop, it plugs right in and then you sort of pull it out a little bit and then just pull it back across the surface. And it seems to be um, quite nice. So I just chuck it out there again. So get quite a nice drop on it and it basically sort of go to the side, give myself some room and just pull it back a bit and it sort of locks up slightly and then it pulls back lovely and smooth. So it's definitely a nice sort of area to be able to present on. It's not as far out as I'd like to go because the fish have been showing out long, long range. Um, there's been a couple out sort of where the boy is, which we reckon is probably about 140 or thereabouts. It's hard to judge really, but I chucked it out 32 wraps and it didn't seem anywhere near it. So it's definitely a long way out that boy. And there's been a few fish showing around it, but at the end of the day, if you can't fish out that way and you're not gonna be able to fish accurately, it's a waste of time. It's just gonna be uh, 
flogging a dead horse really so we're gonna we're both gonna be fishing much closer range we're gonna wrap this up now see what it is that bit of weed there that's come back on the retrieve but there's a little bit of like silt weed on the bottom which i think is just covering up a, a, like a silty area and then it's full of loads of you don't know if you can see that it's full of loads of snails absolute loads of them I've got some, there's some fresh stuff as well, some of the stuff I've pulled in. So any little bits here and there, but it's just absolutely full of snails. Don't know why you can see that, but yeah, there's loads of them in there. So, natural carp grub. Hopefully they're out for a few bullies. Right then, I'm just going to get the rods out, finally. Um, it's taking a bit of graft, but they are going out. So I'm using the standard sort of leg clip set up, hybrid leg clip, four ounce lead, my tungsten loaded with the Ronnie. Um, I'm actually using plastic baits. I've got one on the yellow, one on the orange, and then one on a food bait. These are all soaked in some bug liquid attractors, basically. So they smell like the bug bait that I'm going to be spotting out. I'm going to send that out there. Hopefully that will deter the crayfish and um, we'll get a bite, so let's send them out. Didn't even try and cast them accurately, and they went out accurately. What is that about? That front stick is a bit on the wonk. Right, and just as the wind picks up again, first rod's going out, feels like we've been here for ages. As we both mentioned, it's taken a little while to find a spot, but 18 wraps is the furthest out that I can find a clear area to fish effectively in this crosswind. So it is what it is. Right then, time to get a bit of grub out then. So in here we've got some 12 mil bug, some uh, S7 dumbbells and some 15 mil bug. That's all been soaking in some of the uh, matching bug liquid food and also the spod hydro syrup so two different types of liquid let's get a few spots out there give them some grub So the rods and everything are out and to be honest it's a little bit late getting an update done it's taken a long time to get everything sorted this evening it took a lot of leading around trying to find spots and also we've had a lot of rain a couple of big storms come through which has made it pretty hard to film anything so it's not until now that we've been able to get the cameras out but um yeah um everything's sorted we're fishing it looks pretty good for a bite and um hugh's um He's already in the bag. Yeah, try then. <laughs> Someone won't leave my swim. <laughs> so yeah, he's already uh, in the bag, ready to get some sleep. I'm literally going to go and get mine now and do the same. So hopefully we get disturbed in the night with a fish and we'll have something to show you. If we don't know, we're updating in the morning, probably over a coffee. What do you think, mate? Yeah, brilliant. 
Happy days. Yeah. See you later. Go away. <laughs>unfortunately nothing but a wet soggy night for me and sean yes very quiet indeed but the good news is the bloke down to my left appears to have had a couple this morning or that's what it sounds like at least so um yeah that's really positive the fish are still in the area fingers crossed they can sort of just come in front of me and sean trickling down on that wind and uh, yeah we might be in chance for a bite this morning so it is looking good out there but it's definitely time to uh, get the kettle on so let's have a brew so i think the gopro cut out just before i managed to net the fish what i thought was buried a bream is actually towed a lively tench but yeah he's only little there you go very lively let's slip him back happy days Specimen. so coffees and our mate nice to see you got up finally yeah managed to drag myself out of the sleeping bag yeah it's amazing what uh, the smell of coffee would do to you isn't it yeah well and that and uh someone asked me to come and film a tent <laughs> yeah so. yeah it wasn't a monster but the good news is mate i managed to get the bite on camera because after oh, really? the bloke well after the bloke next door had, had a couple i thought oh, i'll set one up just uh, just in case and uh, yeah definitely got the art racing a little bit but yeah well i managed to see a rod rattle isn't it? yeah that's it well rattle a couple of leaps well, but yeah well you know it's a fish. Absolutely, <laughs> it's a fish. But um, anyway, we've had a coffee, or we're having a coffee, and um, we need to get some food now. So I'm probably going to have to make breakfast, I imagine, because uh, I was up late. So let's crack on, do that, and hopefully we'll have another fish. Absolutely. Let's make it a carp this time. Yeah, go on then. All right. Go on then, let's go. Come on. Now you're making it, aren't you?
Right then, well that's the end of my session. Unfortunately, just the one little tench to show, but Sean's staying on a little bit longer, aren't you, mate? The boats have just come out, so hopefully that might churn out the middle and um, push some of those carp in a bit closer, what do you reckon? Let's hope so. Yeah, the fish have been out mega, mega range, way beyond our casting distance. Um, I, to be fair, you'd have to be a pretty good caster to be able to get out to where they are. A lot of them have been almost in the middle, I think. So yeah, way, way beyond our capabilities, but hopefully a few drift in. Um, I've got sort of a few hours this afternoon to uh, try and make some happen. So yeah, hopefully I can actually have one. Absolutely, mate. Who knows? Uh, we don't really know the lake that well, so all these little things just add to the puzzle. And uh, yeah, I've definitely got the buzz to come back and try and put one of these carp on the map for you. Definitely, so yeah. I guess I better get off, mate. You better, mate. Yeah. Have but a good one. Best I'll of luck. Bye. 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 Miss you. <laughs>a few hours on from Hugh leaving then and um, we just got a thunderstorm rolling in I can hear the rumbles uh, starting to come over Ed now um, we've actually had a lot of rain uh, very very torrent torrential downpours really really miserable to be fair kind of carpy weather but yeah not ideal for uh, for fishing and filming but um, I've seen a few fish still showing but they are showing mega mega long way out of my capability um, especially with the kit I've got today. Um, I've only got 12 foot three and a quarters and they're all round rods so they're not designed for fishing at long range, they are designed for a sort of play in action. Um, so they're lovely rods for playing fish on but they just haven't got the backbone in them to send a lot of rod a long way which is exactly what I need today. Um, the guy next to me actually, I've had a little chat to him and he had a couple of bites in the early hours and he's fishing at 33 wraps and it just shows the fish are that further out that you're kind of just trying to get to the edge of where they are, even at that range. And I'm finishing at 26 at the moment. I'm just not getting far enough out to them. So um, it's a bit of a shame, to be honest, but I did find a lovely spot with a mark of lead, uh, 32 wraps, felt a bit shallower, felt lovely and clean, but I just couldn't get the main rods out there. It was just too much for um, the capability of myself and also what the rod could do. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself a set of um, big rods off of ProLogic um, get myself a, a set of bigger reels, get them all set up for long-range fishing and maybe try and come back in the autumn and uh, have a proper session on here again and see if we can get amongst them. So, yeah, we've still got a few hours to go, though, um, so we're not, we're not sort of blanking. It's not a blank yet. Um, we've still got plenty of time, really, so hopefully some fish move in and uh, we'll have us fish to show you. Well, this is nice. There's a bit of a water line there where the brolly's just cutting off the rain. It's coming in on a bit of an angle, so it is cutting up underneath a little bit. But I'm staying dry. Certainly a problem with this bigger bed, it takes up a little bit more room under this brolly. So you don't get quite as much space underneath it. But, uh, yeah. It's a bit wet. is the end of the session then all the kit is loaded up in a van unfortunately the extra hours for myself haven't produced the bite i was hoping for if i'm honest the fish have just been way way beyond our capabilities the whole time we've been here we've been seeing them showing and to be fair they've been showing an absolute jolly out in the middle 
Um, there was a few showing maybe sort of 150, something like that. But like I said, we just couldn't go that far. Now, the spot I found at 32 wraps initially, I do feel like I could have had a bite off of that because there was a guy to our left and he'd had a fish um, at 33 wraps. So same sort of area. So to be honest, if I could... Um, if I could have fished that range and had some big rods with me set up for distance fishing, then there's a good chance we might have had one. But I'll have to put that in the memory bank for next time. I definitely need to get myself a proper set of casting rods uh, once again and get back to um, having a few sessions fishing at range. Because to be fair, it's good to sort of dust it off and get it back in your armory now and then so you don't forget how to do it. And it is a challenge. So it's something else to sort of learn and get better at, which is what I want to do. So anyway... It is a blank, unfortunately, but it was nice getting out of the bank and this monster pit is such a banging place. I really want to come back and catch one at some point. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some long range gear sorted, maybe come back in the autumn before it starts getting cold and see if we can maybe get on the end of a big old southwesterly with the fish absolutely jumping like dolphins on it and see if we can get a few on there. But anyway, hopefully you liked the video. Now, if you did and you are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Also, give it a like because that way we know you're liking our content. Chuck us a comment if there's anything you would have done better, anything you can suggest, any kit that you use for long range fishing that might benefit us. Chuck that in the comments. And until next Tuesday when we upload regularly at about six o'clock, I will see you then. So get out, enjoy yourselves. Be lucky, I will see you next Tuesday.